Oh my gosh, this is kind of really kind of morbid. But this is the 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 meal that 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 um this is this is Pearl, you guys. <laughs>《Catchy》A.K.A. Ob Gem. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button, also hit the notification bell, so you can be notified of all future videos. And if you like what you see, please do hit the like button, so I know to keep making content like this. So if you follow Panda Sama on Twitter, then you're probably aware of the Dairy Cow mod that she's been working on and dropping some updates and hints of what this is going to look like on her Twitter feed. If you are a patron, you'll also have had access to her patrons posts that have shown updates of the Dairy Cow mod and all of those have just made me excited to see what this is going to come out to be. But today we finally get to see the official release of this Dairy Cow mod and I couldn't be more excited to try this out. Just watching the little video trailer that she put out on her patreon it just seems super exciting everything we have to look forward to for this cow and it really shows the amount of work and effort she put into this to make this like a fully realized cow or farming like experience obviously this is just a dairy cow we're not getting additional farming animals at least not at this time but there are so much things you can do with this cow that can make it really feel like you are running your own farm such as you know caring for your cow and milking your cow and being able to sell the cow and get other th uh, other things you need for your cow such as hay and whatnot but i don't want to discredit the other amazing creators who worked on this uh dairy cow mod which in includes Mizor Yuki and Ice Munmun, Mun, who are both amazing modders who I frequent quite a lot actually, especially Ice Munmun Mun with her custom food. If you guys are not hip to custom food mods, Ice Munmun Mun is the queen when it comes to that. I have so many of her custom food objects in my game and I don't know if I could play without them. But as you can see with the Dairy Cow mod, we are going to be able to buy our own dairy cows, name them just like we can with cow plants, feed them hay and special seeds from treat bags, which sounds very interesting, collect milk, and from the video you'll see that there are just different varieties of milks you can get from the cow. It's not just regular uh, white milk. You can get strawberry milk, you can get chocolate milk, which seems cool. You can sell your milk, you can drink the milk. You're able to talk and develop relationships with your cows, which I think is super cool considering um, if you guys noticed in that video, the dairy cow that you purchased does not become part of your household. So I'm assuming that the game's going to recognize the cow as an object. So being able to have a, a relationship with something that's essentially an object, we're no strangers to that. We have all been having relationships with our object babies for a minute now. <laughs> that aside, it seems like we're going to be able to build relationships with our cows in this way and develop relationships with them or destroy friendships. That's interesting. <laughs> We can pet our cows and have different interactions with them to unlock higher friendship uh, levels, which is super, super cool. And tell secrets and, again, unlock more interactions with them. So this seems like, this is crazy, but this seems like there's so much gameplay that's going to be involved just with this one mod. And so we're always clamoring for gameplay here if you're new here. I'm always about things that add to my playing experience and this is again if you're new here or if you're new here Pandasama's uh, mods are no stranger to me. I reviewed the, the last few mods because I'm a huge fan. That's why I'm a patron. So I'm always looking to see how she's up in my game by including new objects that my families can use to add to the Sims experience that we're living in the game. So that's a super cool as well. But I'm not going to go on too much longer here. If you guys are patrons of Pandasama, I would recommend jumping over to her page to read the full details of what this mod will entail so you know before you hop in. But for everyone who's not a patron and does not have access to this mod right now, this mod will go live to the public on March 4th. So you do have to wait a little bit uh, to get access to this incredibly cool mod. But if you're like me and you've just been digging everything Pandasama has been putting out, I definitely recommend just hopping in and subscribing to her Patreon. You will not be sorry. All of her CC and mods are top 
notch. But with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and download this mod and hop on in game so we could try it out. So we are back in a game. I actually got this family off of the gallery a while ago to test out one of Kawaii Stacy's mods. She actually has a farming mod that allows you to run something that feels like a farm, except her mod actually relies on utilizing the pets in game if you have cats and dogs and that making them look like animals. And then it unlocks um, different interactions you can have with these pets. As you can see, these dogs are made to look like sheep. And and with her mod you can actually add traits to them so that they function with the mod to be able to collect wool for the sheep and the milk for the pigs and cows so you see I have sheep and pigs here these won't really be playing a role in this <laughs> mod review but just to make this feel like more of a farm and just let them keep the animals that were already in their household I did remove one though they had a cow and I figured what is the point in having a fake cow when we can use this new mod and use a real cow? So these guys will just be kind of set dressing here. They're not going to really be involved in the mod, but I did bring our family of farmers in here. We have over here Marina and George and their son Robbie. I decided to replace the extra spot we had in our household and give them a child. They didn't have one at first just because with this mod there are interactions that anybody can use from child to adult which I think is super cool because if you are one of those family players who's always dreamed of running a family farm now you can kind of realize that through this mod by having your family work together to run their farm and have your kids help out with raising the cows so we're gonna go ahead and hop in and build and buy so we can get our objects for this mod because I am super eager to try this out and see I'm gonna go ahead and just try it on the search pond to summon first. I haven't looked at you guys at any of this yet, so I don't know what it's going to be under. But I'm just gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and type in pond to summon and see if that pulls it up. And if it doesn't, we can just go ahead and put dairy cow in because I'm sure that'll bring it up. As you can see, when I put that in, it brings in some of the other mods that I have tried out with pond to summon, which is her bunk bed mod and her. Chef Toy Kitchen mod. If you do not have those, I cannot recommend those enough. I will be including the links in my description below of the previous mods I have reviewed for Pondasama in case you guys are new to her and you would like to try out some of her amazing things. But it looks like I'm not finding it by typing in Pondasama, so I'm just going to go ahead and put in cow. <laughs> okay, we found it. Uh, so. It took me a minute to find because I wasn't sure what it'd be listed under. I tried searching under Pondasama, I did not find it. And I tried all those other things. If you put cow into your search bar, then it will show up and you'll see it under outdoor activities. So if you just go into the activities and skills section and click the little planner box, you'll see our little cow right here. And it costs zero simoleons and um, build by, I believe when you actually interact with it in world though and actually purchase your cow, then it's going to cost you some money. But we're going to go ahead and put this sign. Ooh, that, that's got a huge footprint. <laughs> it's got a huge footprint. Okay, I wasn't expecting that to be so large. No worries though. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and put our cow over here in this farm area we've got going on. And yeah, you can actually put as many as you want for the purposes of this review since I want to try out two different things I'm going to need two cows. So I'm gonna put two down over here And now we can hop back in the game and have our family try out their cow So I'm gonna go ahead and have Marina go ahead and purchase the cow right here And as you can see it pulls up this window of different options of different cows you can purchase. There's the basic one that we all think of when we think of cows of white and black one and we've got a British brown patched cow um cow with black patches oh I think this is the one I'm thinking of this one up here has got brown patches we've got a dark brown cow a russet cow a tan cow and they all cost exactly the same so it was just as I thought the sign is free but if you actually want to purchase the cow in game it'll pop up this menu for you to actually pay the money to have cows so you know they're not cheap <laughs> so if you are trying to do some sort of rags to riches a farm um you know you might want to work up to purchasing a couple cows to make some money because at first it's going to cost you a pretty penny but 
right now we've got a decent amount of simoleons we got 38,000 in this test playthrough so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this British well you know let's get the basic black and white cow that everybody thinks of. oh oh <laughs> Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting it to just pop up like that. I thought it was gonna, I thought she was gonna go over to it and then it'll like do its thing. Oh my gosh. It's, look at this. <laughs> it's a cow. <laughs> so I, I didn't go into it when I was reading over the notes for what this mod entails on the page, but um, Pandasama did mention how these cows, despite the fact that they are technically, I believe, objects in game, they do have meters to them that kind of make them feel more real. So, as you can see, if you hover over this cow, which we probably do have the, yep, we can name. So, I'm gonna go ahead and name our girl. Oh, Pearl. I was gonna name her something else, but I kind of like that. We're gonna let her be named Pearl. <laughs> Um, so Pearl here, how, if you hover over here, you can see her stats. So you see that her hunger is full, she's got no milk, and she's got full energy. So essentially, you want to make sure and keep your cow happy. And so because they have these stats to them, you do need to feed them. They won't die. So I did read that in the notes that your cows can't die, but they can like... Like, think of it, I, it makes me think of Neopets. This dates me, I know. But, like, back in the day when I was a kid, there was a site called Neopets where you had these virtual pets that you could play with and whatnot, and they could starve, but they never really died. So, I believe it's kind of going to be like that. You could hover over and see your cow starving, but your cow won't actually um, die of starvation, but they can die. Unless I'm reading that wrong. I will go back and correct if I'm reading that wrong, that they can't die of starvation, but they, they will die of old age. But I will go ahead and we're gonna get our second cow here, and I really want like a brown cow. I want the I want this dark brown cow right here. Oh, <laughs> let me go half back down. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be turned a different way. Okay, so the cows look pretty good. The only thing that kind of is like throwing me off a little bit is that their eyes are. Like, they look a little bit dead and soulless. It's a little bit creepy, just a little bit. <laughs> Maybe when I go back into live mode, it'll be a less creepy seeing them move around, maybe a little make them feel less like they're <laughs> mannequins. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and put go into live mode. Okay, and they're moving. <gasps> they move so well and look! Look, you guys. It's not doing it now, but like you could see the little tail moving. They are right there. <gasps> that is so cool! Oh my gosh, I love it. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and give this brown cow a name because I want them both to have names. Oh, Amber, that's so precious. Yes, we'll let you be named Amber. So we've got Amber and Pearl here. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Marina here interact with the cows. So as you see, when you click on them, you've got different interactions. We already used the name feature. You can rename your cows if you don't like the name or you decide you want them to have a different name, you can do that. But you can talk to the cow. I'm gonna go ahead and have her ask this cow how, how her day is, Amber, how her day is. Talk to her. So she's gonna talk to her. She can talk to Pearl and ask Pearl how her day is. So as you can see there, she is a talking to uh, Amber here and like really interacting with the cow. So I do, I will say seeing these cows like not in pause mode, <laughs> they they do look a little less creepy with them moving around. Like it's just the eyes for me. It's just a, li it's a little bit, it's a little bit dead, but them moving helps a whole lot. <laughs> so that is really great there, but I love how they move the animation. Like it is so good. Oh, did you see her petting her? Can can we pet? Can we pet her? Okay, so in the dairy cow interactions, you can see we've got all the feed options here, but they're all grayed out because we don't have any of those things here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hop back into build mode because we have treat bags in there that we can use to feed our cows, and I believe there are hay bales. Or hay, hay bales? Hay, hay bales? <laughs> bales of hay! <laughs> We've got bales of hay in there that we can use, so 
let's go ahead and we'll go and get those okay so we are back in game as you can see now we've got this pile of hay here and this is the hay bale right here that i was talking about so this looks a lot like the little stand thing that patchy sits on but it looks like they kind of retextured it so that patchy is gone and it's just the hay bale and pumpkins and then there's a pile of hail so what i missed before i got this is that technically if you've got your cows on grass you don't need these things here so what will happen is as your cows hunger depletes so as you can see their hunger is already getting pretty low here their, their hunger is okay and their energy is okay so typically what will happen if these aren't here if your cow is on grass then they will just like automatically eat the grass by themselves but let's say you lived on a property that like had ground that looks like this like they're on stone or something then you're cow actually needs to have hail around or hay around to be able to eat and so according to Pondasama's page the hay bale needs to be or the hay pile needs to be within nine tiles of them for them to be able to automatically eat it otherwise you need to feed it to them and you can actually go on here and enable I think it should be under dairy cow feed hay Marina is missing some required items three hay all right <laughs> So we don't have a required amount of hay, so I can't actually even show you Marina um, feeding it to the cow, but no worries, we can add the hay. And so you can find the hay bale and the hay pile in the sculpture section. I just used to search because <laughs> I didn't know where it was, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get this pile because it's kind of taken up a whole lot less of a footprint here. So we'll put that there and this here so now if marina wants to come out and feed these cows she can from the hay piles here so we're gonna go back into live mode and see if we can have marina feed the cow now so you are a dairy cow why when i can't why not marina's missing some required items three hay are these not three hay collect hay oh okay <laughs> very confused okay so essentially i guess you would have to do it from here does she have to put it in her inventory i'm gonna see a thing i'm gonna have her collect some hay so I'm gonna collect 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 because maybe it needs to be in her inventory otherwise that auto enable feeding thing you actually would do it from directly from the food source so um do not mind this she jumping in this pool <laughs> But um, you essentially would have to grab it from, oh, and it looks like she did. She collected it from there. So she's grabbing it and putting it on her inventory. So I'm going to see if she can now. Amber is too full. Oh, so, oh, Amber, why'd you eat? So it looks like Amber, yeah, they both automatically ate. You guys, I wanted to show her feeding you. Okay, well. Like I mentioned, if this is within distance of them, once their hunger gets low, they'll automatically eat it. But if it's like further away or you're not on a on grass where they'll automatically eat the grass or, or not within distance of hail, hay, I don't know why I keep on saying hail, hay, if they're not automatically within distance of hay, then you have to feed it to them or enable auto feeding so that they can't eat it themselves. So if I were to click this, they would already do that. But I believe now that Marina has hay in her inventory, if she wanted to, again, ooh, she's got a lot of hay. <laughs> if she wanted to um, go ahead and feed them, she can certainly do that now that she's got the hay in her inventory. She just can't now because they have already eaten. But as you can see, she's got, um, she still has the interactions with them that she can go ahead and talk to her animals and build a relationship. As you can see, because she already talked to both Amber and Pearl, the bar is already starting to fill up. So I don't know if I can cheat because... <laughs> I kind of want to cheat the relationship up to see how the um, relationship will change. So this is another thing. What I did is I just shipped Cliff the, cl the, the cow to unlock, see what the unlockable interactions can be. So as you can see, you can change all of the. Oh, good. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and set this to starving. I'm sorry, my dear. I hope this is not. You know, you, she can't die of starvation, but. <laughs> 
I'm gonna send it to Starving just so that we can have um, Marina feed her because I want to actually show that to you guys. So she is now starving now. Yep, go ahead and feed your cow. So yeah, the hay needs to be in her inventory for the cow to eat it, but it looks like she might have actually started eating before we can get there. Okay, good. Oh, did you guys see that? Oh, I missed it. Uh, we're gonna show it again. Um, we're gonna show it again. So I'm actually gonna do the same thing to Pearl here. Set her to starving. Go ahead and feed your little baby because it actually shows the animation of the hay in her hand. That is so cool. Go ahead, feed her. Oh, there it is. That is so cool. <laughs> I'm easily impressed. But yeah, like this is so, as you can see, they're eating on their own there. But I'm going to go ahead and um, see if we can cheat up their friendship with each other. Um, it looks like we can't do that from here. Or at least I haven't figured out a way how to cheat up their friendship level so that they're friends. Hey everyone, it's Editing Catchy. I just wanted to interject in here just to let you know that I was able to figure out how to cheat up the relationship values for the cow. I'm such an idiot. I should have realized that the cows would show up in the relationship panel just like they do with any other objects you can have a relationship with, like a baby. So if you go into the relationship panel and you want to like just see what other interactions you have with the cow, you can cheat up your value with the, the friendship value with your cow to 100%. As you can see, you unlock a few more interactions with your cow such as you can now tell your cow a secret and you can pet your cow and the petting interaction is so cute I didn't hop back in and record it just because I was already practically done editing the video so I just hop back in and plop some cows in the BFF household to try this out and as you can see Travis here was able to become really great friends with his cow pet it and give it some kisses and just look at him but I just wanted to make that clear you guys um, so that you guys know that before you jump into this mod so now back to the video oh look at them moving around i think this is the most i've seen them move this entire review oh they're they're sleeping okay well that one was sleeping but we're getting some milk so it got back up but this one's sleeping so this is what it looks like when she milks amber that is so cool Oh my gosh, so we just milked her, and so I'm gonna check the inventory. Oh, and she went right back to sleep. It's a little herc jerk with the animation there, but it's okay. We, we, we still love it. Store milk to keep fresh. So it looks like if I keep this in the inventory, it's going to spoil. So let's pull it. Oh, and that's what it looks like in um the world. Oh, it's so cool. So I'm gonna have Robbie here. Oh, he wants to talk it. Oh, he's grabbing milk. And he did it autonomously. Okay, I'm too impressed by this, you guys. I'm too impressed by this. And this is so good because we get to see we get to see what the kid looked like when they do it. That's so cool. Look at Robbie. Look at Robbie milking the cow. Oh my gosh, I love it. Robbie, go ahead and put this. Oh, let's see what happens if we open this. I thought we could put it in the fridge. Where did it go? Oh, it's in his inventory now. Oh my gosh, put it away in the fridge so it doesn't spoil, but this is just plain milk. So you can feed them different seeds and I believe the different seeds that you feed them will allow them to generate different flavors of milk. I'm not going to actually show that right now because it's kind of involved, but there's like different, like if you look on Panasama's page, she lists the different ones that you can feed them. This uh, mod does come packaged with, with Ice Mamun's Harvestables. So if you already have Ice Mamun's 
custom food and game and you have everything that she's put out then you probably already have these harvestables um if not you want to make sure and grab them because you can grow those um specific seeds i believe from the harvestable add-on and do that but there are also like in-game seeds you can use that are or maybe I'm forgetting. No, I, I believe it's mostly just the harvestables, but there are pack specific ones. So you just want to double check inside that um, package to make sure that you don't have harvestables installed that you don't have the packs for. But this is so cool. I am so impressed. Okay, so I'm going to have to do, do something very sad here, and that is... We're going to go ahead and we love having both our cows, but you know, we only have enough room and patience for one cow right now and the other one we're going to have to send to market. So I'm going to go ahead and have Marina here do do the things. I'm sorry, Pearl. Going to sleep is not going to save you today. Let's send the cow to the shop. But I like this option because if you are somebody who does not really want to deal with the whole idea of... Um... Oh no, she, she just up and disappeared. Oh. So I guess when you shift click and, and click and send the cow to the market, the, the cow just disappears. Did we get paid for that? <laughs> so yeah, it looks like we didn't get paid for it. So I guess if you just can't be bothered to have your cow anymore, and, or you want to um, choose a different option as far as um, um, sending your cow away when they get a bit older you can enable that and send your cow away to um to to, to, to do that that's crazy but as you can see we don't have it enabled for amber so you know when we click on amber it doesn't happen that way but if we click on this we can send at amber to the shop and amber will just disappear i guess but we won't you won't get paid for it apparently or at least i don't think so let me check our inventory to see if we got anything oh okay so you won't be paid directly for it but you will get things for it so as you can see we've got this meat we got a lot of meat we got eight pieces of meat for it so this is oh my gosh this is kind of really kind of morbid but this is the 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 meal that 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 um this is this is pearl you guys this is this is me this is pearl so as you can see if you hover over it we can sell this for profit but if we want to cook it you need to have seriously the seriously cooking overhaul i honestly do not have that installed in my game right now but if you did want to cook this then you would need that as you can see if i click on it it's not giving me any interactions for it because i don't have that installed but if you do want to have a meat packing form as, as, as morbid as that could be you can just make sure you have that installed and then you can cook it otherwise the only thing you can really do with it if you don't is sell the meat for profit so we just got $80 for that so that's like eight times over you get about look at me do math in my head $640 for that so that's not bad although it's actually less than what we paid for it so <laughs> Like, I don't know if it's worth it to sell your cow to the meat packing plant because you don't really get a whole lot of long-term value out of it. I guess if you just don't want to be bothered with it after you've sold enough milk to make it worthwhile, but you know, from jump, it's not really worth it. But that is it, you guys. That is the cow, dairy cow mod. So I've been super interested. Oh, look at Amber sleeping. So yeah, when your cow's energy goes low, as we've already seen once already, they will go ahead and sleep on their own like this. But this is the, the dairy cow mod, you guys. So if you guys have been interested in doing a farming gameplay and you've just been dissatisfied with the game op in-game options and you want something that feels a little bit more real, then you, you guys, there's nothing more real than this dairy cow mod right here. You can develop relationships with your cows. You can, you know, feed them. You can... 
Um, go ahead and collect milk from them. If you are at the end of the road with your cow and you just want to be able to reap other types of benefits from your cow, you can send them to the meat packing plant. You can do so much with these cows. And I didn't actually get into developing the relationship higher with them to see what else I can unlock or the seeds part just because, you know, this is kind of time limited. I'm doing this on my break, guys. This got me a little slack there. But, you know, it... it this you could do so much with this and like i've only really scratched the surface of the gameplay just to show you guys what these look like and what some of the um initial basic interactions look like but this is incredibly cool i'm excited to see how people use this mod in their game if i can already think of one person in particular who will probably love that um namely um princess jasmine if you know her giving you a big out big old sh uh, shout out she is doing an animal an animal rescue let's play right now and she's just like a huge fan of animals i did the autumn and Bridgeton bay collab with her earlier this year and that was a big part of it like animals are just her, her jam i know she's gonna love this <laughs> <laughs> but um, if you are an animal lover, you will definitely love this. If you've been wanting to, to play with farms and you want to have that experience, this will definitely give you that. I'm actually super excited to see if um, Pondasama will continue to add to this by giving us more farm animals, such as like horses. Everybody's been wanting horses. And I think at this point, I think we're, it's pretty clear that I don't know that the Sims team is going to give us horses. But like, if you want horses like definitely support Pondasama with this mod and maybe it'll encourage her to continue making more farming animals to add to this farming experience give us horses give us um chickens give us sheep give us pigs just, all these things that people want i know that this took so so long for her so definitely don't badger her for these things i'm gonna stop rambling let me let me know you guys what you guys think of this dairy cow mod do you plan to play with it what type of gameplay do you have in the store for this if you do um i will have the link to uh to pandasama's patreon in the description below so that you can become a patron if you want to get this now otherwise this will be available to the public on march 4th i'll also include the pay uh the pages for mizu or yuki and ice man man i'm a patron of both ice man man and pandasama i definitely 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 do recommend both of them if you into being coming becoming patients with people they have incredible stuff and Mizo Yuki, I have a few of her items as well. Definitely recommend them all, but their links are gonna be in the description down below so you can see the other mods that they have and possibly also become a patron. But until next time, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and of course, stay dazzled. I will see you in the next one. Bye.